Let's draw a couple of free body diagrams. We've got block B sitting on top of block A. There's friction everywhere. Blocks are being pulled to the right, and they are accelerating to the right. I'm going to start with block B because that's the easiest. My dot represents block B, and the first thing I like to think about is what is touching block B? Well, block A is touching block B. A surface can interact with something in two ways, through a normal force on B from A, and through a friction force. The normal force is normal or perpendicular to the surface, and the friction force is always parallel to the surface. The friction force then either is pointing to the left or to the right. If block B is accelerating to the right, then the friction force has to be pointing to the right. That's what is causing the acceleration. That's static friction on B from A. And what can reach in from a distance? Gravity, that's the weight of B. The gravitational force between B and the Earth. So though that's it. Those are the forces acting on B. You may have inadvertently put friction in the opposite direction, but then think about what's happening. Then there'd be a net force acting on B to the left. It would have to be undergoing acceleration to the left, and we know its acceleration has to be to the right. So it looks to me like the free body diagram for block B, and the forces listed there are correct. Let's take a look at block A. What's touching block A? The ground is touching block A or the table, whatever it's sliding on, and that can interact in two ways, through a normal force on A from, I'm going to call it the table, and through a friction force, and block A is sliding across that surface, so this is kinetic friction. Kinetic friction is opposite the direction of motion, so that means that I have a force this way. On A from the table. What else is touching block A? The rope. So I've got a tension force. They're calling it F. I usually use T for tension, but that's okay. They've used F already. So that's to the right. What else is touching block A? Block B is touching block A. Block B can interact through a normal force. This is going to be on A due to B, and through a friction force. So this is, might be the tricky part, getting that friction force right. What I like to think about is what would happen to A if B wasn't there? A would actually accelerate at a faster rate. If we pulled with a force F on block A without B there, it would accelerate at a faster rate than if B is sitting on top of it. So B must be holding it back. B must be pushing back on A. So I'm going to draw that friction force right there to the left. That's a static friction force on A from B. Those two blocks are interacting through that static friction force. That's everything that's touching block A. What can reach in from a distance? The only thing that can reach in from a distance right now is gravity. Next quarter you'll discover electric forces and magnetic forces. They can interact at a distance also. But right now, I'll just write the weight of block A from the Earth. So let's take a look here. They've got the normal force on A by the table. They've got the weight on A from the Earth. They've got kinetic friction between A and the table, the tension in the rope, the normal force on A from B, but they left out one force, and that's the static friction force between blocks A and B. Can you pick out any Newton's third law pairs here? Newton's third law pairs. The normal force on B and the weight of B are not a Newton's pair. They're not always equal and opposite. In situation A here, the normal force on A is not equal to the weight of A it's equal to the weight of A plus the normal force on A from B, right? You could sum the forces in the vertical direction. If we were looking at this vertical direction here, 
the normal force on A from the table would equal the arrows pointing down, the normal force on A from B plus the weight of A from the Earth. The normal force doesn't always equal the weight. There might be other things that influence it. So that's why they're not a third law pair. And let's see, any other third law pairs? I see one other one. I'll use blue. The friction force on B from A and the friction force on A from B. Those are those two blocks interacting with each other. Okay, hopefully that's correct on your diagrams. Now, just to make sure you got it right, let's do this. Let's do the exact same situation. Block B on top of block A. Block A being pulled with a force F to the right. Friction everywhere, just like in this situation. Only this time, there's no acceleration. Block A and B are moving to the right at constant speed. See if you can come up with the two free body diagrams when blocks A and B are moving to the right at constant speed. First, let's do block B. What's touching block B? Block A. It can interact through a normal force and through a friction force. Let's come back to the friction force. Let's think about it for a minute. And we know that Gravity can reach in. That's the interaction between the Earth and block B. Let's come back to that friction force now. Is block B accelerating to the left or to the right? No. There's no acceleration. So that means there can be no net force to the left or to the right. So there's no friction force here. The static friction force goes to zero. We're done with our free body diagram for block B. Let's go to block A. That dot represents block A. What's touching it? The ground is touching it, so we have a normal force on A from the, I'll call it the table again. And there's some friction, right? Kinetic friction between A and the table. The rope is touching it. Block B is touching it. But there's no friction force acting on block B. So there's not going to be any friction force acting on block A. And what can reach in from a distance? The weight of A due to the gravitational attraction to the Earth. So if these blocks are moving at constant speed, there's no friction force needed between blocks A and B. The only thing that the tension is doing is it's counteracting the kinetic friction acting on block A.